not far off the highway outside of Deruta is a not to miss extraordinary spot, which is a wonderful example of Umbrian devotion and simple folk art. The church called Madonna dei Bagni, dating to the mid 17th century, probably restored over time and entering this church and the side door under the white tent, you will see something extraordinary. Let's go in. We're now inside Madonna dei Bagni, outside of Deruta, where extraordinary artistic works of Maiolica folk art adorn this church. The church was erected as thanks to the Virgin called Madonna del Bagno, Our Lady of the Baths, for the rivulets flowing nearby and a local spring, when something amazing happened here. In the mid 17th century, a Capuchin priest found a broken piece of pottery, probably the bottom of a cup with the image of the Virgin and Child. And he tenderly picked it up hung it on an oak tree. And later in 1657, a local merchant of the era, Cristofano, fastened it even more carefully to the oak tree, prayed to the Virgin and Child, asking for the health of his wife, home and ill. And here you can see the Virgin with Child, the broken piece of pottery which had been hung on the tree by Cristofano, praying to the, for the health of his wife. The legend is he returned home and found her up and well and sweeping the house. And all of the shrine derives from this miracle. And he and his wife, as thanks to her, had a tile commission recounting the story. And this is the image hanging on an oak tree. And the oak tree of the mid 17th century is still there. And there are many ex votos hanging around it. Uh, they're in metal and they're incised often with PGR for grace received or grazia ricevuta. So these are all thanks for favors received from Our Lady of the Bath, also called Madonna dei Bagni, Our Lady of the Baths. Behind the altar, and we're behind it now, we can see the tile commissioned by Cristofano or Cristofano in 1657 who fastened uh, the Madonna and child to the oak tree, prayed for the health of his wife, who was seriously ill, went home, and the tile tells us he found his wife well and sweeping the house. And this is the first tile, Maiolica tile, which was done to thank the Virgin. And then many others will follow, all painted by local artists. The artists are unknown, thanking the Virgin for favors received. Images of their animals. This obviously is a thanks for someone who was healed. Here we have another gentleman praying, he's thanking and he will thank the Virgin for a favor received. Another image which is often depicted on the tiles, someone was pruning their tree and fell out and thanked the Virgin, per grazia ricevuta, PGR, for grace received, for having saved his life. Uh, this is another accident in the rural countryside per grazia ricevuta for a grace received, thanking the Virgin. Who did these? We really don't know. They were commissioned by 
the person thanking the Virgin from local artists were in the Deruta countryside, so I'm sure that they were able easily to commission local artists to do these. This seems to be a fire that took place in the bottega or the workshop of a shoemaker. All well, they were all saved. For Thanks for the grace received, 1662. Up here, thanks for a favor received because if you are a rural person, nothing is more important than the health of your oxen, which are the economic stable point of the family. Oh, that was quite a fall too. It looks like it was right out of a window. So as we look around, we can see everywhere in this beautiful chapel and shrine tiles thanking the Virgin for favors received. Oh, this is quite an extraordinary one. This man is being exercised. The devils are swooping right out of his throat. Now, alas, some years ago, unscrupulous people wanting to sell these tiles probably to antique dealers stole some of the tiles. I'm going to show you the area where a lot of pieces of tile are missing. And now you can only get into this wonderful sanctuary of Mayolica ex votos when the guards are here. There's a community nearby that keeps a close eye on this extraordinary place, Madonna dei Bagni. And not all of the tiles are ancient ones of the 17th century, 18th century. And the hands of the artists are quite extraordinary at times. This is a beautiful tile, not far from the altar, done in 1943. Uh, the Virgin and Child having protected Deruta from damage in an earthquake at that time. And over on uh, the other side of the altar, there's another image of the Virgin having protected Deruta. And this time it's the children of Deruta from the ravages of polio, probably at the time they were being vaccinated. This is 1952 and in various places. There are also depictions of car accidents and so forth. So the thanks to the Virgin for taking care of the people of Deruta continues today. Madonna dei Bagni not to be missed when you're next in central Umbria in the Perugia area. Come and see the extraordinary Maiolica ex votos in this little chapel first started in the 17th century to conserve the image over the altar still affixed to the oak tree as it was affixed in the mid-17th century.